good afternoon. My name is Katherine Kellersberger. I work for Bruker and Bruker's Mass Spectrometry Division. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about MALDI molecular imaging. Um, a little bit different from the other imaging techniques that you've seen here today, MALDI imaging is an ex vivo technique. So we are looking at thin sections of tissue, either derived from individual organs, from whole animals, from plants, from other substrates. These sections of tissue are usually sliced on a cryostat, about 10 microns thick to 12 microns thick, placed on a target, and then put inside a mass spectrometer. Uh, one of the great advantages of mass spectrometric detection is that it is, first of all, a very non-targeted type of detection. We're analyzing the actual molecular components of the tissue as a function of their mass. So, it is not necessary to do any radio labeling. It's not necessary to do any fluorescence labeling. And typically, the average researcher is going to be able to detect hundreds to thousands of compounds in a single analysis. So one of the unique advantages of MALDI molecular imaging, again, is that we can do de novo identification on the basis of accurate mass. And there's no front end separation step required. This is different from many analyses because our selectivity comes from extremely high mass resolving power or from unique mass measurements. Another unique feature, particularly of the Bruker instruments, is that the tissue itself is not destroyed during the analysis. This means that the researcher can take that same section of tissue, wash the sample following analysis, and subject it to traditional histopathology techniques, such as H&E staining, IHC staining. These images can then be scanned and uh, read into Bruker's Flex Imaging software, which allows you to do direct superposition of the mass signals right on top of the histological signals. This is of tremendous value to the researcher. So the stained tissue can be scanned into a microscope, read into Bruker's Flex Imaging software, and then the mass images can be directly superimposed on the H&E stain or histologically stained tissue. This allows the researcher to be able to directly correlate certain mass signatures to histological features in the tissue. And uh, this has been of tremendous advantage in industries such as pharmaceuticals. Everything from drug discovery, biomarker discovery, to drug safety and assessment, as well as clinical laboratories who are working with pathologists. Uh, academic researchers looking for protein, lipid, peptide biomarkers, um, particularly in terms of cancer research or uh, other targeted analyses. Thank you very much for your time today and for more information about Bruker and Maldi Molecular Imaging, please visit us at www.bruker.com.